and television dude here and this may be my last puzzle package for a while but I have a puzzle in the mail not last forever but just last for right now uh, while work is slow and uh, money is not coming in as fast still some other puzzles out there I want plus besides this one there was some other ones I had not shown in a video yet so I'll be showing those as well and what we have here is a gear cube it's not the official gear cube it's just a Hong Kong ripoff but it was a great deal and it comes with a nice little wooden stand I guess not sure how it's supposed to be displayed in the stand yes I'm an idiot sometimes <laughs> I guess just like that or maybe it's like that or maybe it's like that I don't know Maybe that's it right there. Well, this could be kind of tight. Let's see here. Never messed with a gear cube before. I've seen someone else's video and they bought a Hong Kong one, and it, he had uh, he had to uh, tension it. He had to loosen the screws quite a bit. The screws were, uh, I don't know if they're under this middle cap here, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think it popped right off. But pretty cool. It is a little tight. But very cool. I'll mess with that later. I got a whole box here. Uh, I'm probably going to show off my whole puzzle collection again. But. He, uh, I finally got some of my stickers in the mail, so I de uh, took off all the stickers off my worn Rubik's Cube. The stickers were just worn off and everything else, and so I put some real fancy maze stickers on here. I have not uh, scrambled it yet, because I wanted to do a video first, just in case it takes me quite a while to solve it, because uh, it's it's more than just colors or patterns you're gonna to have to memorize where the maze goes this could be a tough one but very cool let's see where's my other new one I believe this is one here this is called a I think it was called a tank diamond and uh, let me get up my other ones for comparison this one here and this one here that I've already shown and guess what it's pretty much solved the same way it's just uh, see it's got the same kind of uh, odd shapes like those there just just a tad different but still it's real similar Once again, it's got the uh, the bulky pieces, so there's only one. Uh, I found out from someone else's YouTube video that there there is so uh, well, when you get to the last layer on, on a side like this, you could come across that one parody where you got two matching and two that are not matching, which you can't have. And what causes that is is very odd. But this gray piece will be flipped with this gray piece like this one will be here and this one will be there and to me that doesn't seem like it makes it should make any difference but I guess it does because I've ran across that and just by switching these two gray pieces fixes it very odd so I, I really really love these odd shaped Rubik's Cubes that are solved almost identical to the Rubik's Cube maybe maybe some slight differences but overall it's solved with the, with the same steps I, I just love these and I think there's a few more out there maybe I'll get them maybe I won't I think that's all the new stuff wait no there's one more one more new one and this was called a uh, ghost hand cube spins very smooth I got this because I thought this was going to be the cube I put the maze stickers on. But after it started uh, 
turning just so smoothly. I think this is going to be my main Rubik's Cube. Now, I, I still can't do finger tricks, and I probably never will try to learn finger tricks, because that's just beyond me. But just having a nice, smooth Rubik's Cube is pretty cool. And I got some more stickers. Let's see here. I got a set of uh, stickers for the uh, to re replace a cube. I'm not sure if these are too big or not too big for this cube. I don't know if these stickers are too small or if these stickers are too big or if they're just right. That I do not know. But I guess I'll find out. Because th these stickers are not the best. They're already peeling up. A few of them are peeling up already. Like this one here. Also in here is stickers for a... Uh, let me get it real quick. My uh, barrel cube. Uh, since I figured this was such an odd cube, that who knows how hard in the future it would be for me to get stickers for it. Could be easy, could not be easy, so I just bought some anyway. There were only a few... There were less than a dollar or so. No, actually, I think the, uh, no, I think these are the, uh, stickers for this. I think all of them are the, I think the, uh, the cube stickers are in here. Yeah, okay, I was getting confused. And the mini cube stickers for my keychain, which I think the stickers ended up being bigger. Those look a little bit bigger. Not much, but just a tad bigger, I think. Or maybe it just looks like that in the package. Well, but I think they are a tad bigger. Now I'm missing two stickers because the, the red one fell off too. Now if the gold falls off, I'll have to cut my own. They, they, they do have some gold stickers. And I guess I could just, uh, you'd have to cut it out yourself. Maybe I'll have to buy some of those too. Yeah, I'm wondering about these as well. I want, uh, they currently don't sell any stickers for these. Uh, so far, I guess you you have to cut them yourself. Which will really suck, since I'm not good at that kind of stuff. And let, let's go over my other cubes once one more time. This one I forgot to show in my puzzle uh, collection. It's my Coca-Cola cube that I got at an uh, antique store. But... By messing with it, I realized since I couldn't turn the cube, I wanted to turn the cube. So then I started messing with it, and it kind of broke apart. And I can tell that someone looked like they super glued it. Yep, that kind of looks like super glue. And that's the reason why I could never turn it. I wasn't sure if it was just stiff or what. So it's just a decorative cube. We'll never be able to solve it. But just sitting on the shelf is pretty cool. What else we got here? Got my McDonald's cube. This one was fun to solve. Because it's McDonald's. Got my Chex cube. Still turns kind of clunky, but from age, I guess you can't expect much more. Ah, uh, I think I showed this. Th did I show this or did I not show this? Maybe I didn't show this one as well. This is my Skew cube, and it's very easy to solve once you learn the uh, learn how. I I did cheat and I looked online for uh, the solution, and after I saw the solution, I was like. Damn, that was just ridiculously easy. And, uh, this one... Oh my god, what's this one called again? Oh, crap. That's the, the other one was the Skew Cube, so this one was... Well, I forgot the name of it right offhand, but it doesn't really matter. This one is also easy to solve. I, I solved this one on my own. Didn't need any help. This one is pretty easy to solve. Can't believe I forgot the name of this one already. All 
I really like this one because it's so, it's so easy to solve. Super easy to solve. Just having a brain fart and I can't think. Got my Darth Maul cube, which is not solved at the moment. Uh, I found a video on how to solve it, but I don't have the uh, solution memorized yet. Darth Maul 2x2, two two, which is very awesome. Let's see what we got here. This is just an ordinary QJ Clicky Pyraminx. Not a bad Pyraminx. Kind of smoothish, but not as smooth as my other one that I lubed up. This thing is just ridiculously. After I lube this up, this thing is just ridiculous. And you got this one, I think it's called the Master Pure Morphinx, which not just turns in odd directions, but it can morph and you can. Uh, turn it in the odd ways. I uh, Someone said this also can be solved like a Rubik's Cube after you morph it, but I'm afraid I don't see it. <laughs> I'd, have to, I'd have to check out some intense videos and watch it closely and watch it a hundred times because when I had this thing all uh, scrambled up and in, in different shapes, it didn't make any sense. Another one of my uh, prized possessions is my Gear Pyraminx that I had to mod to uh, fix. I'm, I'm starting to wonder if it's already getting loose again. And I, I have decided that if it gets loose again, which isn't that big of a deal, I'll live with it. Uh, instead of taking the stickers off to get to these corner pieces, I've decided I'll probably just cut along the edge on each one. So it'll be it'll just be a uh, like a uh, a split sticker. As long as I don't screw it up and make it look uh, disgusting and mauled or anything, I don't think that's that big of a deal. But I still love this thing. This thing is great. Oh, I forgot the name of this one. I think it was called Brain Twist. Brain Twist. There's like uh, two different ways to solve it. One is with the uh, cones all the same color. Or the other way is to have all of these the same color on each side. I like this one too. What else I got here? Mother, another one of my favorite ones is the uh, Missing Link. I I'd like to get more sliding puzzles. Rather it be uh, Missing Link or just one of those ones with pictures on it that you have to solve or uh, you know you just slide the tiles up and down left and right or, or just get more puzzles similar to this. It doesn't have to be a Missing Link but just with pieces that you can slide and things. My magic ball, which is just a Rubik's in ball shape. That's all it is. Solved exactly like a Rubik's cube. Just it, it can throw you off a little bit because it's in ball shape, but it's solved exactly like a Rubik's cube. And finally, my two uh, snakes that I've owned since the 80s. Let's see. Some other cubes I would like to get is the uh, Curvy Copter, which I just uh, recently discovered. Which, uh, as, as long as you don't uh, do any uh, fancy morphing, uh, morphing to it, is easy to solve. I believe you can do some morphing to it and really just screw it up. The uh, more advanced Pyraminx, like the Professor Pyraminx, that would be cool. Let's see here. What am I doing? Let's see here.
doggy, but I think I made him too tall. That's more like a giraffe. Oh, did I say giraffe? No, I, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. No giraffe. Dog. No giraffe. I don't want to get cursed again. Well, actually, I'm the one who started the curse. So, you can't curse me, because... Yeah, there's some other ones, like the uh, one I had from a kid, the Impossible. I would like to have that again. It's a little on the rarer side. Not super rare, but people will pay a pretty penny for it. And uh, that's my puzzle collection once again. Uh, I think there's some other ones I wouldn't mind having, but I can't remember them all right off hand here. So that's the end of this video, so thanks for watching.